Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the Laser Map Maker software because I've heard a lot about it and wanna see how it works. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, they did give me a free trial to the software, so I'm gonna try it out and see what I think. I've used snazzy maps in the past and it involved a lot of tracing and other things. So I wanna see if this is more set up for the laser side to where it's just simpler to use. Uh, so we're gonna try that out and see how it goes. So for this project, I'm gonna be making something that I can hang on my wall uh, for our last house that was in Nevada. I've already set up the design and everything else in the software and it was fairly easy to do, but I wanna show you what it is and what I did uh, in case you are interested in trying something like this for yourself. Let's go to the computer and I will show you what I set up. The cool part about most of these snazzy maps or laser map maker is it is online. You don't have to download any software to your computer. So just go to lasermapmaker.com. Here I'm already logged in. I'm just gonna go to my dashboard. And I already have one set up that says my Nevada home. And in here, I'm gonna open this in the studio because this is really where I started. So I started from a template, but I wanna show you a couple of things that I thought were kind of cool and some modifications that I made along the way because it doesn't do everything I wanted to do, but it does provide a way to get to the things that I wanted to do. For this project, what I wanted to do was highlight kind of the area that I was in and then be able to add a heart over the house be able to highlight more color, so the greens and blues associated to parks and golf courses and the water. In this view, you can see the golf course layouts. Now, it's not perfect, I will say that. It kind of gives you extra boundaries, but I was able to clean that up in Illustrator and I will show you what that end result was like. The software did pick up on those boundaries at least. In Snazzy Map Maker, I know that in the past I've had a similar struggle and I've had to do a lot more tracing and editing. So this made it a lot simpler, uh, but there was still some work involved with that. The water, it did detect and actually color for me. Uh, so that was nice, but the land, like golf course parks, it only does the boundary right now as far as I can tell. But over here on the right, the main thing I did was search coordinates. So here I put in exactly where I wanted to go and that's what brought me this view. The zoom, you can zoom in or zoom out. It just depends on what you wanna do. And there are varying levels of that zoom. So you can see that I can do a little, I can do a lot, just kind of depends on what you want. Next, you can change the scale. I had it at 200% because I zoomed in pretty far. And then the map shape was actually one of the cooler ones. In the past, if I wanted to do a shape, I'd have to bring that into Illustrator separately and then join everything together. Here, you can go in and there are some preset ones that you can choose from. So circle, ellipses, hexagons. I went with the house because it was for my house. But this could make a good gift for realtors or if somebody just bought a house and you want to gift them something that is very useful you also have options to do crosses flowers trees it just depends on what you're looking for i'm not going to sit here and dive too deep into the software because there are other channels i'm sure that have already done that but this is what i set up for me and you can see over on the left that i have different layers and this will be important for the next step so one step will show the golf courses, one is the cut, one's the engraved stuff that I wanna do or print stuff I wanna do, and then the cut for the overall shape and roads and things like that. But if I hit preview export, this will go ahead and prepare all of that. And this is where it starts detecting the laserable elements. Whereas the snazzy map ones exports that as a PNG this one will actually layer it for you into those laser type elements, making it simpler and less work on the back end. Just like in the studio, the four layers turn into these four. I didn't set them up super well, and you can tell because I have the second layer that's kind of just blank, and it's just the house boundary. I don't really need that. But I have the land where it has the water, 
And that actually kind of goes with this layer where I have the golf course elements. You can see there's some extra boundaries that I'm going to clean up and get rid of, but they are going to be a vector, so it'll be fairly easy. And then I have the road one, which is actually really nice. This one came out pretty well. But you can see over on the left, I have my different layers. So for example, when I click on a layer down at the bottom, you can see it colors it black on the left. Another thing that I found interesting is they have this tiling here. If you have a rectangular one or a square one, you can actually split it up into multiple panels. So if you wanted to do like the three panels next to each other that are vertical and make it really big, it will split all that up for you so you don't have to post process that, which is kind of nice. But other than that, I'm gonna go to export. You will see that it has a credit that it's gonna require to export. It's one credit per layer in this case, from what I can tell. So if I didn't wanna spend credits to export that extra layer, I could get rid of it. But you hit export and then you just say, yep, I confirm it and then export it out. And it will export all of that to an SVG. So you can see here, it goes to where I exported. I have exported this before, but wanted to show you what that process looks like. And it usually takes a minute or two for it to download completely. Once it exports, you'll see this screen where it shows you what was exported. It also has an attribution page in there. And then when I download it, it exports each layer as its own SVG that I can open up into Adobe Illustrator. And that leads me to my design. So here, this is after editing what I wanted to edit. You can see that I have colored the golf course and gotten rid of a lot of those extra boundaries. The blue I kept the same. I didn't alter that layer that was exported. I didn't alter the road layer. And the only other thing I did was add this little heart. This is the part that really made it easier. So all of this can be done in other software, but what this helped me do is it makes it vectorized already and I don't have to spend a bunch of time cleaning it up. Now, the interesting thing is when I was researching this software, I saw a lot of comments about why would I waste money on this when I have other things that can do it for free. And I looked up the pricing for this software. Again, they provided a trial for me, so I didn't have to pay for this. But when I look at it for the price, if you're doing one-off things, it's probably the hobbyist one that you would really want where you get 216 credits per year, unlimited projects. And if I'm only doing one project anyway, that would be useful. If you don't want to do it for a full year and you just want to pay for the month, $12 a month. If I get one order where I use this and I pay 12 bucks and I just put that into the cost of making the item for the customer, I'll be honest, like I, I think it's worth the time savings. So let's go through your hourly rate, right? If you make or price yourself at say 30 or $40 an hour and you say, okay, this is going to take me an hour to design with snazzy maps. Okay. It's going to cost me $30 to design this map. And then you go to here and you say, okay, well, it'll take me 30 minutes with Laser Map Maker, and it takes that cost from $30 an hour down to $15 for your hourly rate. And then you add the subscription fee and it makes it 27. Not only do you actually save about $3 doing that, but then you can have that for the rest of the month to make another project. So this is purely a time thing for me. I could do it for free with other software, but when you're treating this like a business and every minute counts, time is money. But anyway, what I'm gonna do with this project is I am going to print it with the UV printer for the green, the blue, and then the red on a backer that's wood. And then I'm going to come back and cut the road out of acrylic and then layer those two together. So it'll be a two layer project. I'm not gonna show you all of the printing setup because I've showed that in other videos. I'm just going to go ahead and make it and let you watch that process. I'm gonna start out by laser cutting the parts and then I will UV print the house portion. And in order to bond these together, I'm gonna to be using a tape that is called dual tight that will actually just be a peel and stick adhesive. 
but I'll leave a link to everything I'm using down in the description below if you're interested. But let's go ahead and go into the project portion. I just finished putting the project together and here is the final result. So it does have a three dimensional look to it with the roads. They're all cut out in between. It does have the golf course and the water as well as the little heart printed onto the wood. It was also very easy to assemble with the dual tight tape. It's simply a peel and stick. It's very similar to the 3M type tapes but a lot more affordable. After doing this project, in the future, I'd like to do one of the panel type ones where it's three different panels. I'm gonna be working on that in the future. So if you have ideas for other videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in any of the stuff that I used in this video, I'm gonna leave that in the description as well. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share things along the way. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.